searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Grim Dawn. If you like what you see, drop a like and consider subscribing. All right, today is the two-year anniversary of Grim Dawn being released. And the developers are gonna have a really big announcement. I don't know what it is, but they've been teasing it. And I'm excited to find out. I decided I wanted to start a new character and run through the game after this last update they just had. And I'm going to do an occultist and a nightblade, which makes a witch hunter. But I'm gonna be uh, angling toward poison melee damage. That's, that's my angle. Now I did go in the crucible. I didn't do anything. I just ran in there, started it, let myself die just so that I can make it to level two and I can get some starter gear that I had set aside for this character. And it's nothing special. I mean, it doesn't even work toward this character, okay? It just happens to be that in fact I've got two uh, weapons and just a little bit of yellow gear. Now they did change the loot. So yellow gear should be okay, more plentiful out there left. from stuff. I don't have like a, a huge amount of gold I didn't twink this character is what I'm trying to say. Not twinked in any way, shape, or form. Just a, a little bit of a boost to make the, the, the beginning a little bit easier. Now, having my uh, Amorasis Blade Burst available right away is very nice. It definitely is gonna make uh, this beginning area very easily, uh, easy. So that's a little twinkish, I guess, but that wasn't the uh, the the idea. I just wanted to have a dual weapons. Mainly, I wanted to do it so I can get my thumbnail uh, to show the Green Mamba build. Now that's why I decided to call this one because it's going to be focused on uh, full poison. I think I'd rather like the thumb uh, the thumbnail that I did for for this build. It was one of more. Uh, interesting ones that I've made recently. I've actually missed Grim, Grim Dawn. I enjoy doing videos on this one, but I'd run through it and I'd done several builds in a row and then I finally started actually doing it on my channel. And yeah, I kind of burnt myself out on it, so needed to give it a break. Wolfson's getting a little long in the, in the tooth, especially with uh, there not being an update. We're gonna have one this month. So I might, I'm gonna run one more build I have planned and then probably shelf Wolson until they come out with the next update. I haven't decided if, if I wanna run that build now or save that build for when the update happens that I have something that I haven't tried before. Now I'm gonna be doing a a dash build on ferocity. It's basically basically going to be a. I tried to roll. <laughs> Can't roll or dash in this game. It's basically going to be a uh, a warrior doing dash style play, other than uh, an agility character. So it all be like ferocity for a base. That was the idea. Just not sure if I'm going to do it. This character is going to be you know the true knight boyd. Uh, poison. The occultist side of it is uh, for a heal and for the, the poison damage. That's the only reason why I'm going occultist. It's not a caster uh, hardly in any way, shape, or form. One or two spells possibly, but mainly only if they're like poison based. Because that's the whole idea of this. It's just as much poison damage as I can possibly uh, infect on my enemies. Hence the Green Mamba. Now, I did think of trying to do, you know, I thought of maybe uh, calling it a Poison Ivy build. It was funny, it was it was the thumbnail that I just couldn't get the, you know, the Poison Ivy build, it would work, but I couldn't make it a the thumbnail look really good when I was trying to envision, you know, the Poison Ivy side of it. It, just, it didn't work. I don't know why, I just didn't didn't seem to function for me. Then I went to Green Mamba and everything kind of seemed to, to fall into place. All right, I'm gonna get Bale of Shadow because I want to have that up. That's a nice buff for this character. 
and I don't know if I want to I think I guess I'll keep I'll just buff that that works and I always put my first 10 points into physique you need it to to get to wear the better gear that you find out in the world or uh, earn from Chester stuff like that so it, it's good to have it at least the first 10 points oh one of the first things that needed a second hit Ah, well, tougher enemies now. No problem. Let me switch over here, put the veil on. Right now, my veil is basically uh, a debuff. It r reduces their offensive ability and uh, lowers their total speed. Later, I can actually do damage with it, and it'll boost my ass. It will boost my poison and acid damage because it'll reduce their resistance to poison and acid, which is going to be a big focus of this build. No need to, to be doing all this poison damage if they're not, if they're resistant to it because then I'm not doing as much damage as I uh, could be, uh, be doing. Now, I'm currently playing on normal to get a good run. Once I feel like I'm, if I'm really overpowered, I'll fall, I could switch it over, but because I'm playing a a melee character, starting on normal is probably a good idea. Not that I mind dying, but melee characters can be kind of slow to begin uh, to start the game off with sometimes. Kind of wish I had a big hit for this guy, but I don't have one yet. All right, level up again. I really want to get to the shears. So we're going to put those next points into there. And once again, one point in the physique. Get, I'm going to get myself strong, big and strong, even though she's a girl. Come on, make me big and strong. Nothing says that they can't. Pick up all this gear, basically just to sell it. I don't think any of it. That's a huge experience boost right there, so I might as well use it. Oh, better. I oh, almost wish I had thought about this. I could have actually have reset it a few times, run through this, and just run over and picked up a pair of these hatchets, because a pair of those hatchets would actually work pretty good right now. Oh, nice movement speed boots. Definitely nice to have. Now, my inventory is getting kind of full. I think I'll go ahead and port back. I think I'll go ahead and port back to town real quick and sell this stuff off before I... Uh, Go off to the next section. And basically, that's I'm just going to do is just sell everything. I haven't unlocked the ability to go into the uh, into the fort yet because I have to finish uh, the initial quest, which I should easily be able to do in this video. No, I'm not going for a full clear of the map. I'm going for a run through. There'll be areas where you're gonna see me it's like, dude, what are you doing? It's like, because I have this compunction to, to clear the map in certain areas. But for the beginning part, I'm just gonna get through to the quest area. I'm gonna find the NPCs, of course. Not all the NPCs give you uh, good questing info or good, uh, are usable in that sense, but it's still good to get all the uh, NPCs if you can. It happens to be one over here real quick. Would like to have some a nice big hit, but yeah, it's one thing this character doesn't have and probably isn't going to have for a while. 
some type of right uh, right button click where it'd be a, a huge hit. Uh, Shadow Strike will probably be the first one, and it's going to be a few levels so I can get to that. Oh, I tried to roll again, and I always do that when I come back into Grim Dawn and it's been a while. I'm always trying to roll, and so I'm always pausing. <laughs> Now, I'm using a cold weapon. This character, even though my, my intent is to go full poison, right now she's cold centered. Uh, several of her skills and buffs or debuffs that she's gonna be able to do are all gonna be poison centered. And that's just the beginning of this character. And so I can get uh, the skills and stuff that make my normal attacks poison. And what I'm angling for right now is this is the first step in it is to get the sphere uh the shears the shears should give me uh, an arc attack where i can hit more people around me just my melee attack and not just Am uh, amorosis void burst but this is the next one the hidden hand that will add acid and poison damage to just my standard melee attack so that right there is my, one of my bread and butter ones for a bit i could go with uh fast Hasmo blades and then I think you can add poison to those. Bleeding vitality. Uh, I guess not. Thought you could. Hmm. Um, I think I am going to drop another point moving closer to this 10. Once I get to 10, I'll probably just um, build those up so that my overall damage and the, the the basic few skills will be better just for a little a little bit man i cannot wait to get the shadow strike that is going to be so nice faster weapons would be nice too because with faster weapons i'll attack uh more often more chance to proc my uh my skills and do that that poison and or arc damage right now it's arc damage but soon soon very soon plus the uh, shadow strike will be my movement ability to help me move around the screen much faster which is something i don't have the ability to do right now so it's basically we're at a at a run sp well a walk speed there really isn't much of a run speed you're always running in this game I used to sometimes we have enemies spawn there, but I not today. I kind of miss the ability where I used to be able to uh, cause damage down there, be able to poison or, or debuff or, or something. Right now, she's just full melee, which is something I usually don't do in this game. I I very rarely do a full melee character. I usually try to incorporate some kind of of magic into it and this time it's I mean granted I'm gonna be using poison but poison's almost gonna be I don't want to say it's gonna be secondary it's gonna be a main part of the build but to inflict the poison it's all gonna be melee attacks there are one or two possible poison spells that I might consider but I'm trying not to go the caster route I've done that before Oh, another ding. I love when I ding. I love my dingage. Grab the crystals. Hey, hey come here. Go and pop the shrine. Get me a devotion point. Three more points. I'm gonna move closer to 10. Just next level, I'll be able to get that and I'll have full poison going. Oh, not full poison, but I'll be able to actually do some poison damage to my enemies. And two points in physique. Five more to go. Let's go to the de devotion. And I'm going to be going for the rat to begin with. The rat is because it's, it's poison damage. I think that one. Nope. I want to undo that. That opens the rat. So my next point will be cunning and spirit. Poison damage. 
10% the poison resistance, cunning and spirit, and then poison damage. Or I, I could have gone for the scorpion first and be one of the ones I'll be taking. I'm probably going to try to go very heavy on poison and the devotions. Anything that's a poison uh, centered uh, uh, attack or buff is what I'm going to be going for. So right now I'm kind of a, a, a toothless green mamba. If you don't know, the green mamba is a kind of snake. Uh, it's a very, very bright green tree, tropical snake. Uh, made popular in the uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, movies. It was the name of one of the assassins in uh, Kill Bill storyline. I'm not doing that type. It's just, I like it. I think the Green Mamba looks weird. There's actually a, a custom motorcycle that somebody made called the Green Mamba that is really cool looking. I just like the name, so I figured I'd use it. I think map. Yeah, there's a couple areas, but nothing important in those in those areas to go for. So we're just going to keep pushing through. I can go back to town and actually get some of the quests, but I'm going to clear one or two more enemies, get to the next portal, and I almost always do this to then go back. All right, big boy, come here. I'm gonna beat you across the head with two weapons. Oh, oh, oh. Taking poison damage, you gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna be a poison-centered character. And that's a, but fortunately I popped a potion, so I, I was uh, regening more health than was being taken from me. Why not? Every enemy I kill is, is more experience. And a chance for a good loot to drop, you never know. Going, oh, 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 wanna get that chest. I see the enemies uh, spawning and seeing me, but my main focus is to get to that next portal so I can get back and get the access to the next area. I'll have several quests I'll be able to turn in all at the same time. I didn't miss a portal, did I? I don't think so. I think the, if I remember correctly, the next portal is up here. The corner. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I did miss a portal. It's been a while since I played the game. Let me look at the map real quick. If I did, it's right there, but I don't think so. I thought the next one was in uh, Whitemire. Well, let's just keep pushing on. Can't cross there, I have to go around. There are a couple of places to uh, clear out here, but like I said, I wanna get to that next waypoint. Then we'll come back. And then you'll see me clearing the map because I have to, I can't leave the map uncleared. It, it's just, it's against my nature to do that. Once I have my movement ability though, that'll be a lot, I'll feel a lot better about, oh, hold on a sec, I got a mosquito. Die, mosquito, die. Finally, shadow strike. And I'm gonna put the point there. Okay, so now I finally have my hidden hand, which changes my shears, and it applies acid and poison. So now, just my standard attacks. Yep, here we go. This is the one I always come to. Come to. We'll be doing poison damage. Not a lot of poison damage yet, but soon, very soon. Anytime Shadow strikes up, should go ahead and use it immediately. Oh, I, ow, get off the portal. All right, there we go. He was on the portal, so I, I couldn't I couldn't even hit him. If it, unless it was incidental hits. I couldn't target him because the portal was what I was clicking on. 
All right, let's go back to town. I don't think anything. 58 armor. 58 armor and spirit, but I'll take it just because it's 58 armor. Uh, One-handed acid damage. Oh yes, please. That's gonna be my character focus. Fire, vitality, cold. No, I'll be moving away from cold very soon. I think the rest of us is just sell stuff. You see anything you like? Not even gonna look at your gear yet that you sell. I don't think I have enough, uh, except for the rings, possibly. An early poison ring would be nice. But, but it's a good use. Nope. The dead attacks of a creature was doing. I need some time to plan our strategy. In the meantime. Now he's telling me to speak to the people around here and help them out. They'll give me different quests. I Welcome to I my brief. You need to remember it. You'll be. Did you bring back the excellent? Ah, sweet. Ah, that gives me a free so uh, have to say I do. experience point. Then he wants me to go find his lost apprentice that's out there. You'll find him, the apprentice later. I don't want to give away trade over? secret. You must have done Secrets. quite a service with the dead. Barnabas. Got I like Barnabas. The, houses and the, old the voice actor on, on for the this guy is really good in my crossing. opinion. Did you get the scrap? Perfect. Well, good news is I got the water pump since I put this. Now I did have the scrap on me to go ahead and give to that guy. So that was a little bit of a of, a, of an edge that I gave myself. Two more into the seek. That up. Four points, huh? Uh, let's see with a. I like to. The problem with doing a night blade is you kind of spread your points around a little bit. I've got to push the 15 so I can get Knight's Chill. Because that'll lower their poison and acid resistance. But then I really need to stop. The question is, do I want to get my heal? And then the armor? I think I will. I'll go for both. Heal and the armor. And then this just gives me uh, another buff that's going to give me for dual wielding. I already have the ability to, wield, to use two weapons at one time. But this makes that I can cast uh, the burst more often and increases the health regeneration by 40%. Uh, that's hard to pass up. And I have one extra point, so I think I'm going to drop that point to give myself some more acid and poison damage. Now, I'm not focusing on acid, but I'm going to take any acid damage I can get. That's just extra damage in my opinion. It'd be stupid to, to not use it if it's there. I'm gonna run around town, pick up the quest. I don't think I have anything else in my stash which would be usable right now. Anything that's in my stash though, I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and use. Greetings, child. My knowledge of spirit, I'm afraid. Troubled man. Mainly talk to her for the experience. I'm not gonna reset anything right now. I'm pretty happy with uh, the choices I've made so far. Now I did clean out my stash. I got most of the stuff put on to another character It's just gonna be holding it for me. Cause my stash was all full of crud. Couple rings and necklaces here. I think, actually I could put this on and it would be useful. Might as well. Unless I have one that's poison centric. And I don't think I do. I mean I have better I have better uh, rings and amulets that as I level up they'll come open to me, but if they're not gonna be helping me to do poison damage, eh, you know, no reason to. Alright, that helmet, I'm gonna put that on just because I've got a gem and it's gonna raise all my stats a little bit. Hmm. I could do that. That'll open up better gear as I find it. I'll be able to uh, put it on. I'm going to keep the movement speed ones, boots that I've got, or uh, pants that I've got, 
Anything that gives me movement speed is nice. Now, those rings were nice if I'm a caster because, but I'm not playing a caster. Having the uh, the energy energy regen, this character is not going to be really heavy on using uh, energy or mana or magic, so I don't need that regen as much as I might need it on a different character. Those are basically my caster rings. When I first started, the first time I ran a poison character, it was a uh, a ranged caster like. And I was always running out of mana, just continuously running out of mana. And nothing, I don't think I've reset them yet. Nope. Now, I typically like to go into this dungeon run area as my next, and then I'll go clear out some of the areas that I didn't do earlier. This is just the first episode. I'll probably make this one a little bit longer than my normal 25 minutes. This run shon't, won't take very long at all anyways. And so far I'm enjoying the character. All right, let's, there we go. That's what I like. Long distance teleport. And that's uh, one of the best uses, in my opinion, for a Shadow Strike. It does a huge amount of damage, but the movement, the ability to uh, move across the screen and you know kill an enemy pretty quick is also nice. But it saves a lot of time to be able to do that shadow strike. That guy, he'll just go ahead and come around. You can also shadow strike onto boxes and stuff. Save time. Just gonna pick everything up. I'll look at it later. Thank you. You gave me a shadow strike target. You can't, oh, you can. I didn't think you could shadow strike a door, but I just shadow strike that door. The hidden door wouldn't let me do it, but the uh, the regular door let me shadow strike it. Nice. Now, I don't know if it'll let me shadow strike all the way up to those guys. Let's find out. No. Once I'm a little bit closer and it's not so far of a distance, I can't. Kind of wish you could in, uh, as you put more points in the Shadow Strike, it can give you more range. So you can Shadow Strike a, uh, a little further away. That would be a nice uh, buff to it. But then it might be a little bit too powerful, the ability to cross half the map or something. Faster reset on it would be really nice though. Shadow Strike, one or two seconds later, it, it resets and you can Shadow Strike again. That would probably be overpower, uh, overpowered. Like I said, it's nice to have the ability as a, as a damage uh, dealing ability, but it's more of a movement ability for me right now. Ah, I'm killing so slow. It'll come. It'll come with time. Eventually, this character will be a very fast uh, clearing character in most of these areas. As soon as that opened up, I shadow strike right on the biggest target. Do as much damage as possible. Don't shoot your stuff at me. I'm very, I'm actually very resistant to poison right now. For the beginning of the game, that should be pretty nice. Another level. Nice. All right, three points. Nice chill. I mean, that's, that's huge. And of course it opens up uh, the quick cut, which is Another one that uh, activates off default and gives me another chance to be used, and it's just more damage. And this time it's piercing and crit, but lethal assault. That's huge for this character. That's a lot of points. Now, I did put extra points into the blade burst. Eventually, I'll take those out because you only, only need one, and it's to activate lethal assault. So I'm going to push toward lethal assault and... Uh, 
just put the point straight into my Nightblade tree. And that's the first time in a long time that I've played a character, uh, even ranged character I use, the Blade Burst, because you can use it as a ranged attack as well. And I normally only put one point into it because it's mainly just being used to activate uh, one ability, which is a huge buff, especially if you're doing poison. Right there, the Aletha Assault. Some cold damage, acid damage, but it adds plus 10% and more as you add more points to it to cold, acid, frostburn, and poison damage, which my character is going to be using all of those, so I might as well uh, avail myself of that additional damage. Just makes things fat, die that much faster. Now my Frostburn Knight used some of the same uh, abilities, but it was very uh, cold centric and almost no poison because it was just all meant to be a cold. And it was fun. I enjoyed that that type of build, but after a while, it's just like, uh, I don't know. I think the poison will be more fun. Straight poison, straight melee. Have the aura damage, you know, that's kind of built into it in the class, but not focusing on doing damage that way. Hit the biggest target, pop a health potion. Use the uh, ability to uh, teleport around, try to get away from some of the damage the, uh, the boss is doing. There you go. Oh, got a blue. Nice. Of course, it's not a blue that I would use on this character, I'm pretty sure. Actually, take that back. No, it would be. Crit, bleed, and then attack converted to health. Very nice, actually. Keep me up longer. Keep me alive. Don't forget the shrine over here, because it would suck to have to come back down here and get the shrine. And I'm gonna pour it out. There's a couple other enemies in here, but there's no there's no need to rush over and kill them. Well, that's the first episode. I, like I said, I enjoy coming back to, to Grim Dawn. I've missed it. If you've liked today's content, go and drop a like and consider subscribing. I've been Critical, this has been Grim Dawn, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, bye.